I was at home and I was in um, my backyard and I was, I was doing some work on my motorbike. We had Springfest coming up the week later, so I was polishing my bike. And I got a phone call from a gentleman at the church and uh, we prayed together. I was seeking the Lord. We finished praying um, and uh, I went back to doing what I was doing. And um, yeah, it was, it was a beautiful blue sky day. Um, everything was quite still, there was no wind. And um, up behind my shed, there's um, some great big trees. And um, while I was sitting there thinking about, you know, what we'd been praying, what I'd been seeking, what I'd been asking the Lord, um, I just noticed that uh, this big gum tree was just, just dancing by itself, like in the, in the wind. So I looked around just to see if I was imagining stuff. No other trees were blowing at all. It was just this one. And I was sort of the thought came through my head, you know, you know, the Holy Spirit is like the wind blowing here and there. We don't know where. I sort of didn't think too much of it. And then a bird came along and it actually landed on the fence next to me. And just the clarity and my vision that at that time too was just, it was amazing. Like looking up into the tree, everything was so defined. It was like just, I thought, okay, yeah, nothing of it to tell you the truth. And then I went back to doing what I was doing. And um, but I started getting this um, real peace. And while this was happening, there was the beauty of happiness that came with it as well. I was at home one day and I really felt it laid on my heart to go into the city and to uh, buy a Bible. And so I was, I sat in the back seat of my car for quite some time. One day I went, oh, I'm gonna start using that Bible. So I went out to the car to grab it. I picked it up and I was just laid on my heart again to, to put it in the glove box. And then it was only like two weeks later, I was at Alpha and um, I was speaking with a young gentleman. I was just laid on my heart to ask him, hey, do you have a Bible and do you read it? And he said, oh, I need to get a Bible. So I knew that prompting was the Holy Spirit. And I said, hey, I've got a Bible for you. Um, so I went out to the car. And uh, when I picked it up out of the glove box, there was this deep peace that I knew that was, this Bible was meant for this young gentleman. And uh, it's been great to hear from him since that he's, he's been reading it. And uh, yeah, it's a blessing.